Hey everybody, this is Vox and Sandroid. Welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Gladius. Welcome to 2021. And welcome to a new dynamic menu. It was, they, they've had this for a little while, but um, I've been having a little bit of problems going up. So, last time we beat the story as the space moves. This time, we're going to try and do this with the Necrons. And the reason I've been having problems is we're going to try and do this on Impossible. And, yeah, we're at I at least want to get far enough so that it is a good show and not just, you know, <laughs> one of them I lost because turn 30, the Imperial Guard right next to me was already throwing basilisks at me. It's just like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Um, also, um, this is not an update, but rather I decided uh, to turn on the... Um, Gladius Plus mod, which is a purely visual mod, um, mostly around resizing things and, as you can kind of tell, giving a lot of height to um, most of the buildings. Most of these look okay. Um, some of them look kind of stretched. Um, the Tyranids look really stretched, and I haven't seen the Eldar yet, but I'm guessing they look even worse, but that's all right. Mostly, I, I did this just so it would be a little bit different, but, um, yeah. Okay, so this is probably a fairly decent spot for us to start out with. Because, as always with the Necrons, our main goal is going to be to get as much ore output as possible. Ore, energy, and influence. Those are our only resources, and we need to take advantage of them, especially now that we are in, again, we're in, we're in impossible territory. And it has not been easy so far. See, so yeah, I lost one because, like I said, the Imperial Guard had basilisks by turn 40. Um, another one I lost because um, it was more of a calculated risk. Like, I tried to summon some of my quest enemies, and they they um, popped out on the opposite side of the enemies I was hoping to slow down. And then they just sort of came in and, and did mean things to me. Okay, um, let's go and get, we're going to need, we need warriors, and we're going to need more, um, um, actually, yeah, let's grab this right away, because getting better influence will be, you know, we make good use of influence, and we're going to need to, to combat the speed bonus that everyone else is getting from there. I'm pretty sure it's 50. Like it's plus 5. It might be plus 50 will. I know it's 5 levels. Like everything that they produce comes out at level 5. Which is bullshit. But they don't call it impossible. They, they ain't blowing smoke. Um. Actually kind of nice that we we're getting a bunch of um we've spawned in a place that had really good um ore and we're right next to a couple of good um of good uh, what do you call it um will influence influence um producing buildings so hopefully i can leverage this to my advantage no promises. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to be better served. Yeah. The first thing I want to do is go over here. And then... That's a little bit stronger, yeah? And then you go in there and shoot them up. 
Um, we're going to need... Let's get a Royal Pyramid. Because we... Like, everyone... You... you one of the quests is always build, build some heroes. And, like, pretty much all of the factions have one that's basically take the spellcaster to these spaces. Even though for the, um... Necrons, obviously, it's the Cryptek, not a not an actual Psyker, but, you know. Any sufficiently advanced technology and all that. That is something that the Necron, I don't think I really talked about, but that, um, you know, in a setting where psychic powers are very much real, as are gods and souls and all that stuff, the Necrons are basically purely Clark's third law. It's all just super science so advanced that it looks like magic. And, I mean, in that regards, they put even the Eldar to shame. It probably has something to do with the fact that they still don't have, they have no souls, therefore have no access to magic. But even, um, because they had these, so, um, I don't think they had the bodies before the convergence, but they had the, um, they were building, um, they built their ships out of this, that liquid metal stuff, um, before they became the Necrons, when they were still the Necrocyte. So they were they were definitely not slacking even before they became horrible robot abominations. Um Is that all freaking wire weed? Ugh. Um You're gonna shoot me, but you're far away. All right, you guys get it back on there. They still have their stupid... Yeah, anyways. Um, and then we want... Okay, so give me... Get me some ore. And then we're going to need to use Rapid Rise on a... Um, yeah, we need to invoke Rapid Rise on a warrior. So we'll just do that right here and now. I could have waited a little bit and then used that for later, but I, I feel like it's it's worth it to get this stuff moving faster. Alright, there's Royal Pyramid. And now we have spawned some Imperial Guard. And so basically three squads of Guardsmen, and they are going to zero in on our position. So we better kill them. But they are guardsmen, so they're not a huge threat. Even at this, even at this point, not something I feel the need to be spooked about. Um, I don't want to immediately. I really kind of do. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to rapidize this, and then we're going to build a pyramid. I guess right there. And then we're going to grab this and get one in one. Because we want, we need a good amount of, um, I also really want immortals. Oh, if we want stuff faster than we're getting it, partly because we have not actually invested in any kind of research at this point. We have managed not to be next to any runes of Vol, which is a little sad, but c'est la vie. Um, up here, this is Recaf, right? Let's go take advantage of that. Um, nope, hold on a second. Sorry, I have a completely new, as you might have noticed from the sound of my voice, where I have a completely new recording setup. Um, I was not completely new at this point. I try, I've explained this three times already, but, you know, this, this will be the one you hear, hopefully. Um, that, yeah, completely new recording setup. Um, if I sound different, that's why. Um, I'm a little further from my microphone than before, but 
I've also got sort of a closet in front of me, so I think I'm echoing a little. But then that never pops up in my ears in the um, recording, so... Yeah, see what I was saying about these guys not actually being a threat? These guys just walked into our, um... These guys are already dead. They are already dead. No, they really are. They're completely dead already. Alright, that's that. And then... I don't think these guys... Yeah, that's not enough to... But that's alright. One on one, I have confidence in a, in the neck, my money on a Necron versus Guardsman fight goes to the Necrons. And now it's two Necron squads. Which makes life even worse for these guys. Which is exactly, you know, my whole point in being right now. Making the gu the making lives suck for the guard. All right, so now we need to. There's a tile, and we need to secure it. It's over here. All right. Well, we'll grab this. I think blow up this, and then we'll go do that. Um, do we want? I think we're gonna put this on hold. Okay, we're going to get this right away, and then we're going to try and build a Lord and a Crypt Tech as fast as possible. You guys grab that. There was an update patch between... Obviously, there was an update patch because of the nice uh, dynamic background, but there was also... Like, one of the things it said was that... Um, Basically, the Eldar will actually start with cities now, so I don't know if that also means that they know how to, you know, deal with the, um, you know, the whole thing of, of getting, um, <laughs> of getting their cities, but we'll see. Um, what do I want to do? I think I want to kill these guys, because I'd like to keep this, um, ruin. There's part of me that wants to do this as fast as possible, and part of me that wants to be... Basically, do this as slow as possible. Because I feel like not pissing off anybody is one of my few, like, <laughs> um, viable paths to victory right now. But we'll see. Um, we want this thingy, and wait, what's our, okay, we'll be okay. And we're also going to need this one, because we're going to need to build people here. Might be worthwhile to go for the Immortals in order, like, they'll be, if I remember correctly, they're fairly good against the Psychurinum. Psychurinum. Psych Psychurinum. I don't know. The brain, the mind control wasps, that's what they are. Um, dang it. I am not actually close enough to do what I wanted to do. Um, okay, so take that shot, that's fine. Okay, um... Part of the quest, because I have gotten to this part of the quest, is that we need to get our Cryptek to level 3. So I think we're going to try and build him as fast as possible. I would really appreciate if you didn't just bugger out, but you're probably going to. Yep, just completely FRO. Oh well. Um, cultists? Fine, I'll kill you. Main point is in killing. Also, I didn't see where these guys went, so that's awesome. Alright, blow that up. Oh hey, another one of these. I didn't see the thing at all. Cool.
Alright, yes, yes. You and your stupid infection. Your stupid mind infection that somehow still works on Necrons. Almost like game balancing was an issue in here. Um, is there a cliff here? I can't tell because of the slightly nicer trees. Uh, I can get in over there. So, I want to go up here. Oh, there's some cultists. Um, I've got a good amount of ore, so let's continue, let's restart our, we also need more energy. Like up here would not be terrible. Like if I got here, like I think I'm going to go for getting expanded cities, or not expanded cities, but the, um, can't detect spiders for that very reason. Put them right here. Oh, hello. Fucking Castellines. Um. Well, I think right now I'm going to try and... Um. Good, I did grab that. I wasn't entirely sure where the hell he was moving there. Not quite sure, wasn't quite sure where I had actually clicked. Um. But yeah, because I think, like, right here, because we can get energy around here, we can get even more influence, and we can get ore. Like, everything we need. I'm not sure if when this happens, like, cultists and stuff spawn around it, or if this is always... Because it's always a, um... It's another Necron city. It's always, it's always another Necron city, but... Like, I feel like it's usually also, like, close to, um, a good amount of foes. Like, an unusually high amount of foes. Alright, so let's do this. Let's immediately increase our population. And let's get him up and ready to start breaking skulls and earning levels. Uh, this is not a particularly great start, just because... Like, any, any main city you can't fully expand is less than ideal, and any main city that you can't get your initial seven spaces off of, six spaces off of, is, uh, pretty, is a lot worse. Um, okay, grab that, get a little more research, I appreciate that, get me a Cantec, um, I guess go for that. Alright, so let's immediately get the spiders. Because someone was mentioning a little while ago that um, I that their usual go-to strategy is to blitz near the end of the tree. I definitely understand that, but um, I, I just like to have more options. I find that more options tend to be useful, at least after you get to the first three like really like right away you want to go for the builder you want the um loyalty building you want um the population building you need those but after that like i find it pretty worthwhile to take a fairly leisurely pace not like super leisurely you don't need to get everything but I do find that more useful. Although again, it depends, because like with the Tyranids, like I really like to rush for the their late game monstrous creatures. Like those are usually pretty worth the investment of oi. The investment of oi. Of um you know, the what what you're what you're sacrificing in not researching to get those faster. Okay, have we secured this yet? Yes, there it is. Alright, and that's extra research. Yay! Also, we are starting to have negative ore. Boo! Um. Oh, that's bad. 
Um, what are, oh, we don't have enough energy, right? Yep, we don't have enough energy. Yeah, we're gonna have to build one of those, like, right away. Um, that still just takes, yeah, that just takes production. That doesn't even take any resource, so. I'm almost surprised. Like, I'm wondering if there is a... <laughs> there's going to be a buddy up here. Like, I hope not, but if there is... I need to be ready for it. Um, do I want to get the Catatech Spider right now? So what do I get off of... Yeah, I think actually getting the Spider... First... Is going to be worth it. Getting this as soon as possible. Keep a quick eye. Make sure there's nothing obvious around um, and then we want loyalty and probably imperial accumulators cuz yeah <laughs> uh, whoops didn't realize I had cute orders Oh, right, because I told them to go to this space, and then they stopped because there were enemies there, so they were still, they still had the orders to go to that space. Whoopsie. Alright, well, there's a little bit of energy. Um, yeah, we'll have these guys start moving towards it right now. You guys grab that. Move towards the front. We cannot do a single thing with our city right now. At least not a single useful one. Um, grab that. Uh, that looks like someone's city. Or a, a mountain or something. What the hell is that? Oh, that's probably a cacature nest. I should probably not poke that right now. It's probably in my best interest to not piss off the giant armor-piercing scorpions. Said, always up for some recaf leaves. Leaves? Not leaves. Alright, so yes. Um, do everything. <laughs> so we'll be getting this next turn. Because all that's left is to actually build the stupid the stupid guy. And that will. He'll be finished next turn. Boom. Does this kill him? Nope. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Um. Yeah, just gotta... Take my lord and... Actually, I'm gonna skip my turn because I think I can get, um... Let me also, just because at Rally Point, you wanna, you wanna go out that way. And I think that'll get, that'll get him close enough to, to get, um, experience off of this. And I know that's not, like, super important. It's not gonna be a whole lot, but it, I think it'll be... I mean, the, the faster we get that done, the better. Alright, um, and we can now start building... Um... Did we not build a... ore thing there? I thought we had two there. Well, either way. What we need right now is energy. Even though we technically are getting negative, um, ore. We've got enough of it as a... Yeah, so we need three, and we need to get 100... 500... 100 research. I can read. Okay, he's only going there, so he's not actually close enough. Awesome. Oh, well. Um, you get resurrection orb, please. Shoot that. You, again, don't finish that off just because 
it's a little bit of experience. Might as well get some use out of it. Um, let me actually um, speed that up. Probably should have sped the um, the spider up too, but oh well. All right, so go up there, and we've got and we, you get experience for that. Interestingly, he got experience before everyone else did. For that was odd. Um. Okay, so we know there's guys over here, and I don't think there's an enemy faction in this corner. If it is, they are like completely squished in here and have chosen not to take advantage of any of this of space going this away. But I think this is our corner. Um you can level up get uh sure. I think I'm just going to have you hold position. Like, you're not going to be able to, like, stop anything, but... It makes me feel better. Um... Do that, and make that go faster. Now that we've, we're actually, like, losing more than one a turn, it's like, okay, let's fix this. Also, uh, we have probably gone on fairly significantly longer than the usual. So, we're going to call it here. This has been Vox and Sanry. If you're enjoying the series, please like, comment, subscribe. Helps out a great deal. I'm glad people are liking what I've been doing so far. So, tips, tricks, and suggestions are always welcome. I will see you guys next time.